the story is no, I can't, well, it's, uh, it's the not guy politically that, correct anymore. Yeah, the guy that <laughs> the guy that started uh, Kmart um, was Oswald Herringbone. I thought it was the guy who invented polyester. It was the guy that invented polyester, right? Or was it? It was, it was yeah. It was a Swedish scientist who invented polyester, the formula for it. His name was Oswald Herringbone. Right. We started in junior year in high school. Neil and I started playing together. We've known each other, everybody, since second grade. I was the last person to move to town. So they all lived here and I moved in in second grade. So we kind of, you know, like ships in the night for a long time and knew of each other in school. But And to clarify, um, so we're 19 now, so probably about five years. Yeah. <laughs> Tom actually, I think, was aware of us first, right? Uh, I saw Neil, I was taking my nap in kindergarten and I saw this uh, guy walk by the window and he kind of walked like a duck. And then we were in a bluegrass band together in high school. That's right. What was the name of that band, Tom? Pigeon Crap. <laughs> we would get together and tune for two hours and then be time to go home. Not unlike we are today. <laughs> You know, the important thing about this show is we can finally tell the true story of how we saved Columbus, Ohio from the aliens.
wallflowers all through you know high school and stuff and then we realized that oh if you play guitar uh, we wanted to meet girls, girls that was the plan meet you, yes. that was the plan yeah. as a duet we thought we were getting pretty good so we thought what we need is is a pa system <laughs> That's pretty much and it. And someone that knows how to run one. And yeah. so that would be Tom. And then we realized, but drums, drums would be the, the final missing ingredient. Yes. And uh, once, the, once that rhythm started, boy. There you have it.
Ah, just like the good old days, only back then when we were on stage making mistakes, we were drunk. I learned how to play guitar from Catholic nuns. So if you're out there, <laughs> thank you, Sister Rita. What's her name? Yeah, in fourth grade, and everybody was, uh, you know, taking guitar lessons and things like that. And the Catholic nuns at our church were teaching guitar lessons, so I went and signed up, and uh, my family actually did, and we, we played guitar a little bit. Junior year in high school, I was good enough to play with Neil, and that's kind of how that started there. Yeah, so I have three older brothers and three older sisters, and I think most of them were probably forced to take piano lessons, but we had a piano at the house, so I mean, I guess that was the, the first thing, going to make noise there. Um, but for sure, my older brother, John, um, he was playing guitar, and so I would try to give it a shot as well. Way harder to play than piano at that age. Like, bar chords, bar chords are really hard. I grew up just listening to WCOL uh, radio, AM, uh, growing up to learn to take swimming lessons, and I fell in love with uh, uh, the drums just on the radio, just uh, hearing the drums, and, and by the time I was uh, about 12 years old, my, my mom and dad got me in some private lessons, and they uh, got me a drum set on my 13th birthday, and I'll never forget it. It was the best Christmas I ever had, and uh, I just fell in love with music early on, and, and uh, and then I met I, these guys. We grew up, but we didn't start playing together until until college. WCOL, that was uh, Spook Beckman, right? Spook Beckman, yeah. yeah. Stack him up Come in the on. sack, Jack. We'd call in and request songs with uh, fake names. So fake he names, would... yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't repeat here. Right, but you want him to say it on the air. So it was, yeah. it was Bart Simpson before Bart Simpson. <laughs> Pretty yes. much, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I grew up with uh, older siblings who. Uh, my dad escaped from Romania, and he was a peasant. And he had nothing as a child, and so he wanted us to have things like music lessons, stuff he couldn't even fathom as a kid. And so uh, our house was full of instruments and full of all kinds of lessons. And I was the youngest, and it just kind of osmosis, you know, seeped in. So it's a beautiful thing. Yep. Ask yourself a question as the fighting leaves your home. Is this world my world? Do I affect the world? When you journey has begun please take my hand together
fires that are raging around you. For in the end, this body cannot It's just organizing sounds. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like if you if you if you think too hard about writing a song, then um, you'll never write it. Yeah. So it's 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 pretty organic with me with us. I think it's like you you, you strum a chord and then you say la 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 and then it's yeah. then you say be pretentious. And that's a great answer because. <laughs> 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 yeah, actually, um, you know, writing with Neil, Neil always would work with me on songs or whatever, and we would kind of go back and forth on something in the basement, his parents' basement, we'd be playing or whatever, and uh, we'd come up with these little bits and pieces that sounded pretty good, and then Tom would just like add this, some little thing, and it was just like, it just made everything. I'd come and see, the, I'd listen to their songs, yeah. and I'd say, this is pretty, this is, <laughs> I'd say, this is really pretty good, oh. <laughs> Pretty, and then so we changed things a little bit. Yeah, yeah. But when he would add something to it, it would just really blossom. So, you know, I one of the greatest privileges of my life is just to be able to play music with these guys. Because I mean, this man is a genius. I mean, a oh, genius, right super right genius. Right and that guy over there is a super genius. And this guy here, he's a drummer. So, oh, you know, <laughs> we could have no. all day without saying that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Super genius, super genius, super yeah. genius. But really, it's it's the sum of the parts, you know. And wow. I've just been so blessed to be able to do music with them and make people happy. That's what we like doing. We like making people happy with our music, you know?
got a band from Columbus, Ohio. They are called Oswald and the Herringbones. Last year, they beat out 64 other local bands to win a Rock Wars competition. Tonight, you decide how they do when we open up the voting lines. We probably ought to, probably ought to go back. Rock, rock Wars, Wars. Yes, rock rock Wars. They, they have these battles, huge battle of the bands. 64 things. bands in Columbus, Ohio, double elimination all summer long, right? So you had to play and win, and 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 there are all these sections and everything. It was it was extremely stressful. Like I <laughs> I did not want to do it, and these guys kind of talked me into it. And I was thinking like you know it's we write all of our original music, so we weren't good enough to play Genesis or whatever. So we we decided we'll just play our own stuff because no one knows how to play our stuff, right? It was pretty rare at the time. Yeah, most a lot of people were in cover bands. Yeah, yeah. There were so, very few people doing all original music, and so. They had this out at what used to be the East Dallas um, bar, you yeah. know, and yeah. And so we were blessed enough to have enough of a following to win that. And that was QFM 96 sponsored it and uh, S Coil S Music, right? Coil Music and Sasapa uh, recording studio at the time, J.D. Blackfoot. J.D. Blackfoot. Ah. Um, bunch of other. SOS things. Video. SOS, 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 SOS Video, video, oh, video yes, production. Course. Yeah, yeah. That's where we yeah. We won. Won the video. It was one of the prizes. Right, right. So you make the video, and then you submit that Submit that to MTV. Right. Why do art? It's like, at the end of the day, it's like... Because you have no choice. <laughs> That's what Not we only do, that, right? Can you imagine your life without music in it? It's a, making art is an impractical choice to do as a choice to, you know, for your life. But if nobody was that stupid and impractical, painters, whatever it is, there would be no art. And art is such an amazing quality of life for everybody. Imagine your life without dance, music, film. I mean, so yeah, we're just four dumb dudes who decided to pursue art. Oh, our, we have to share our motto, because I know we don't have uh, infinite time, tragically, but <laughs> the herringbone motto, forge ahead with, with stupidity. stupidity. <laughs> so it's always kind of like that, like, you know, do we do this next step? They want to do an yeah. interview in a show. Yeah, down yeah. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. Go ahead, you know. so. <laughs> and the funny thing is, this is true. Technically, we've never broken up. So again, yes. it's too stupid. Yes. You know, other bands, they'll break up, they'll get hot after six months and break up. We've never broken up. And that's probably, seriously, one of the big reasons for our success. We kept playing. And thankfully, we would keep inviting your friends to play. And you just... It's the secret to our do. longevity is that you, we've you never find, broken you up. You find people, you find friends, <laughs> yep. you know, yeah. and yeah. you play to your friends. Oh, and, making people and, happy. That's, that's not that's smart enough to break up. <laughs> not smart enough, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we do all original music. We'd like to thank Stage Tech, particularly Mr. Mark Merchant. He does a lot of work with us. Sunny 95. And of course, Channel 3, Government Community Access TV. Where would we be without these guys? Hey! I don't 
don't believe in yesterday that's life in a trance Maybe there are reasons, maybe just circumstance You're black and white conviction, so you jump at it too But maybe you forget a contradiction or two of this me Your answers if they got they one luck. How does the answer change if I get hit by a truck? Two. Or if I die, don't be always a fool. I'll shave my head off, smoke cocaine, and you wanna know? Let's play, yeah, 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 yeah. romance. Let's play, yeah, 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 yeah. romance. Won't be What if I don't tell you what I'm thinking? What if everything I say is a lie? Don't tell me you've got no control, you're dreaming. But if you really don't, there's nothing I can Introduce the band. Richard Midnight on bass. My name is Buttermilk Havener. Right here is Petey Barone on guitar. On drums, Steve Sims. We're also on the Herringbones. If you want to sign up for our mailing list, see us after the show. And here we go. It's just a song and just a feeling I get sometimes. But maybe logic lies the streets are crooked to the crowd. Explanations leave me weary. What the hell do I you wanna stay the same, you wanna go, wanna go! The romance It's me, yeah, 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 the romance Love you, leave me, it's all good, good But do it with love, when you do what you do It's me, yeah, 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 the romance Good night and have a pleasant rest of the evening. Take care. Thank you Stick once again, Arts Council. Woo. And thank you, Channel 3. There's going to be some fabulous acts coming up, so please, please stick around.